what's going on? This is Jay, aka Kodak. But hey, man, I'm about to um, do my ancestry. We just gonna get right into it. All right, first day we on ancestry DNA. As y'all can see, I'm African, Native American, and European. Yep. Let's see how much, though. Nigerian is the first thing that pops up. I am 22% Nigerian. Most, I think most African Americans are Nigerian. Not really a high percentage of anything. I'm a little bit of everyday mostly. Even though these are not really tribes. <laughs> That's like saying I'm American, but that's not really a people. But, um, but I guess like 20% of Nigeria, well, I'm 20% of what that is in Nigeria. Next, Senegal, 19%. Cameroon, Congo, 17%. Benin, Togo. That sound like an island. <laughs> Ireland I don't think it's Scotland or Wales I think I'm from I got people from Ireland 12% African Southeastern Bantu that's like the Corsa I can't do the click that's like the Corsa people the, the people that look kind of Asian people say they look Asian but they're older than Asian people I think all people come from them um, Ivory Coast, Ghana, 3%. No, no, no. This is um African Southeastern Bantu. This is like East Africa. The tribes from like the whole East Africa that came down to South Africa. I'm jumping the gun. <laughs> That's like Ethiopia, all the way to Ethiopia, and like Somalia. A lot of East Africans got African Southeastern bent from like East Africa to like South Africa. They came down. You know, um, okay, who's next? Ivory Coast, Ghana, 3%. Mali, 2%. All right, Finland. I see a lot of people with Finland. I don't know who that is in my family. Um, might be a slave master. I don't know. You know, that might be some leftover slave master DNA. All right, next Native American. And yep. Europe West, no, that's from slave master DNA. Less than one percent. African, South Central hunter and gatherers. These are the Corsa people. What they speaking in, in Black Panther, you know, the uh, the black people that look, you know, Asian. They say look Asian. These these are those people. The Corsa. Can't do the click. I'm American. I'm a black American. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna get into you know these are the slave. The sl This is the slave coast, Carolina, North Carolina, South Carolina. All right. Um, but my people are from Louisiana and Mississippi, but they might have you know migrated. To those places from Carolina back before, way before. All right, now we're gonna go to another website. Um, my heritage. So I was um eighty three percent over there. At my ancestry DNA. So here I'm. Um, 
85% African. I don't really think that these places are really correct, really. Nigerian, West African, these are not even, they just clumping things together. They got to update their stuff. Um, East African, 16%. I was just 6%. Oh, damn, I clicked that. Um, Central Africa, 1%. Um, yeah, y'all can just, like, click on it and all that, you know. American... All right, let's go. So I'm like 85 percent. I was just 83 percent. Now let's go to DNA land. I'm 80 percent now. 70 percent West African. Nine percent East African now. Or from six percent to 16% to 9%. And now I have a South Asia DNA. Asian DNA. South Asian DNA. Mm, I don't know where that came from. That might come from um, bam, Madagascar. So if you're black, you get South Asian. That's probably from the black people they took from Madagascar. That's why that East African DNA show up. And a lot of us, a lot of West Africans just have East African DNA. And some East Africans just have West African DNA. Today, I mean today now. Um, alright, let's go. Oh yeah, my Native American went down a little bit. Picked up a little Indian from probably Madagascar. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Alright, we're going to Wijin. Wigan, whatever. Um, now I'm 81% African, 16% European, and I am now Southeast Asian, in South Asian. None of this was on any, this stuff is starting to pop up now. So I'm sure it came from Madagascar ahead so if y'all get that East Asian and Southeast Asian um, DNA, that's probably from Madagascar. The slaves from Madagascar. A lot of people don't know their history, though. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. But, yeah, I don't think none of these places are accurate. I mean, tribes or people. They're just glumping DNA into. They need to update. Now I'm like 0%, 0.7% Somali. And now I'm like 81%, whatever that is. But um, yeah, still 16% European though. Oh, yeah, I really came over here for my um, half local. So, if y'all got like a 23andMe test that costs all that money, that's a waste of money. If you're trying to get your half local group, get an ancestry DNA test and um, download your raw data and upload it to BAM. So, um, yeah, this is my half local group. I did it more than I did it on multiple sites. My half local, 
so it, it still came up as the same thing so I'm sure this is my real half of E1, A2, B1, half low group, EL94, this is a very rare, very rare half low group, I don't think too many people got it, and it's like scattered, but um, I think they say it originate in the Gambia, so it might be Fulani or uh, Mandinka, um, Sure, it's for a lot of Um, yeah. And my mother's side is in. And this is the Middle East, start the Middle East. But I think it go back to the Aborigines of Australia or maybe Madagascar again. Yeah. Because um, we don't, this is the mother's line, straight up mother's line, so it ain't coming from no slave master. <laughs> so I don't know where that in half low group come from, because it's very rare in Africa. So I'm thinking it either came from the Americas or from somebody in Madagascar or from the aborigines that came to America because it is DNA proven that they came to America so um, yeah that's my DNA I do have a 